Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Chucky2009. Tonight we're gonna to be doing a little bit of severance testing with the good old Hypertherm Power Max 45 here. I want to put fresh consumables in it so that way it'll function pretty much as well as it will ever possibly function for its severance cutting here. So, to be honest, these consumables are pretty expensive, but they do last for quite a while. In fact, that's one of Hypertherm's biggest selling points with this system. And uh, I found the cheapest place to get them is to order them online. You can do a little bit of searching, find multiple prices for multiple people, and then have them shipped to your door in a few days. At least that's how I buy a lot of things from my shop here. I'm gonna reach back here, hit the power switch. Lights start coming on all over the place here. So as you can see, we're already set to its regular plate cutting mode. We have our expanded cutting metal mode, our regular plate mode, and then the gouging mode down here. It looks like it's pretty well set. Our airflow might be just a little bit high, so what I'm gonna do, turn this thing down past 20 amps. That'll get the air going so we can have an accurate reading. Then just adjust this uh, regulator back here. That's all there is to it, and since we're putting it to the test, just gonna max out the amperage there. Let's do it. And to no one's great surprise, that cut like butter, so uh, let's double it and try some quarter inch. As you can see, that was no problem whatsoever, and cutting quarter inch is fast with this machine. So uh, I guess we'll try some 3 8 Well that was 3 8 and as you can see, it's also pretty effortless for this machine. Well, that was a walk in the park, so uh, let's do some three-quarter inch. So yes, I did have to slow down a little bit to compensate for that 50% increase in thickness. But again, no problem for the power max. Let's try some one inch. Now we're severance cutting, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as you can see, we're kind of getting close to pushing the machine, but as we just found out, if you're willing to go slow, the Power Max 45 is willing to cut one inch plate. Has to work to do it, but it'll do it. 
Now we're gonna move up to inch and a quarter. And as you can see, if this doesn't go so good, it won't be the first plasma to try and fail to cut this piece of plate. Well, how about that, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, you know, I honestly questioned if the plasma was going to cut this at all, but I mean, it did a lot better than I thought it was going to. I didn't, I didn't really know what to expect. Granted, I had to creep along. It's definitely cut, and that turned out better than I thought it would. So let's bump it up to some inch and a half inch. Inch and a half inch? Yeah, that's it. Let's do that. Check that out everybody, this fine Hypertherm Powermax 45 has just cut one and a half inch plate. That is pretty impressive, I mean to be perfectly honest, I've used that plasma cutter for a while, I would have put my money down that it would be just done at inch and a quarter, I did not think it was going to do the inch and a half. And uh, so the good news is that it has cut the inch and a half plate, but the bad news is that the test is over because I didn't get anything thicker than inch and a half inch plate because I didn't think I'd need it. Yeah, uh, that is a nasty messy cut as you can see. It is not a fun way to work with metal at this point. I'd say I'd define this as fun up to up to an inch, including an inch if you uh, you know if you're patient. But this is not a pleasant way to work with metal at this point. However, if you have some one and a half inch plate and you're working on a project and you only have to cut a little bit of it, or you have a lot of time on your hands, the Hypertherm Power Max 45 will definitely do it. And just for the eventual naysayers out there, as you can see, that is definitely one and a half inch plate. And on top of that, it's rusty one and a half inch plate. But as we've learned, rust is not a problem for this machine whatsoever. So anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to give this thing a very, very well-deserved break. Now, if you notice, the fan was running a minute ago when I was filming. It has just shut off. That thing has one heck of an impressive duty cycle. And so, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. Have a nice night, everyone.